This is going to be part three of building the air race course and race plane. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's start banging together a panel. All right, well, you can go. You can go, you can go. Okay, good. Uh, let's go get rid of you, 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 you. All right, let's see. Put those there. I can do side panels. A lot of talking to myself. We'll get right here. Okay, good. Let's go. So I don't want these symmetry. I don't do my panel symmetry. It ends up inverting stuff that I don't want to. So we're going to go like this. All right, so that's all in. And then what I want to do is I want to import the... This six pack, which I love. It's modular six pack. I keep forgetting who uh, made this. Let me just quickly pause and I'll check who made this. Uh, this is made by Basilicious. So I really love this setup. This is uh, great from Basilicious. All right, so let's paste this here. All right, and let's put in what we need here. So I'm going to just do this really quick. Uh, color replace, just do all of that. Just Getting them all white, and then they won't be painted. All right, good. So let's see. Uh, let's do them one by one here. So this should be airspeed right here. Oh, yep, airspeed. So let's grab the little airplane here and plug that in behind the seat. Okay, that's good. Let's grab all the monitors, stick those in. We have our six pack cut. You stick you in half. And because they're monitors, we can stick them in front of the panels and still operate the panels. I'm keeping keep hitting the glass. That's why I can't click it. Okay. Uh, compass needs a two slot, so press stick that in the tail. We should have good room in the tail here for a macro controllers. All right, paste you. All right, good. Yeah, trying to keep this simple. All right, this is my. Turn slip, which I want to keep near the center of gravity if, if I can, which I should be able to put it right there. Actually, you should be able to put it right. Why is the center of gravity? Oh, center of gravity got dragged forward because of this. So it's actually back here, right around the uh, center of lift. So that, I was like, why is this so screwed up? Uh, it's not. It's just, I forgot I stuck that out front. So that's linear there. So center of gravity should be around here. Should be able to get rid of that linear speed. So let's put that there. Okay, let's get rid of this linear speed. Nice, see ya. And start, so some of these are duplicates. So like that is altitude, tilt, tilt, altitude. So, see ya. That is linear speed up, tilt up, tilt sensor up. These should be the same. So that tilt again, tilt. And so that's roll tilt to what? Roll tilt two. Why is that? Why is that roll tilt then? I don't know. Let me check. I think they're the same. They should be the same. They do, uh, Basilis just duplicates this, I assume, because, you know, if you don't want all the gauges, which I do, so it doesn't really matter. That's roll right here, so that's uh, ro tilt, and that is also roll tilt here. And so this one here will go to there, and then I can delete that. Is this a, f what is this? This should be forward roll tilt. No, that's linear speed. Okay, linear speed's there. Linear speed, linear speed, that's a up, down, tilt, that's the side tilt, that is linear speed, up. I think I've cut everything I can cut out. What is that? Player sensor, I don't use that, see ya. Uh, battery, I don't need that, see ya. See ya. 
see ya. See ya, wouldn't want to be. Okay, good. So this is uh, kind of the chunk of what I need here. And then this here. Can get moved over here and plopped in with the rest of these. All right, and then that's all going to get grabbed up. Nope. That's what I want. Thank you. Cut that. Let's stick this in underneath the seat. And so I have a gap behind me. Hopefully I should be able to easily just put in a second seat uh, so I can do some training and kind of show people what to do. Can easily, it's easier for me just to say, hey, jump in the front or the back of my plane. I'll fly. And you guys can watch. I'm going to show somebody how to do something. All right, good. And then altimeter. I don't mind my altimeter showing. It kind of gives me a little bit of exterior interest on the build. So stick that in here. Can't go there, though. There. Don't think that's going to be causing any problems to anybody. Nope. Okay, good. All right. May want that um, that fluid port somewhere different. Uh, let's put the fluid port somewhere different, actually. So right here, I have this like this. Let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Put a block here, and I want this somewhere different. I want this here. And we'll stick this right here. Hose anchor right there. So there's our refueling right there. All right, good. So that sets that up nicely. All right, let's start putting the rest of these panels away. Start with big to small. The small ones are easier to fit in. The big ones are more of a challenge. So should fit no problem, though. Yeah, and this is going to be a super simple plane, so that makes it a little bit easier to get everything in. Okay. All right, nice. Let's see, do we have a two by? Do have to re check all the electricity again? That's fine. It's not a big deal. Could hide them in the sides to save weight, but I don't really care. I don't need to. If I was really like thrust weight was kind of iffy, I would. But thrust weight's pretty good. I don't really need to, so I'm not gonna bother. There we go. Give me that click, thank you. I'm just clicking a different block, and so it's being a pain. What do you have there? Is that a four slaughter? That is perfect. Okay, good. So stick these right in that bottom pan. I doubt this is going to throw off the um, weight and balance by much. If it does, I will fix it. A little bit of weight in the nose. Actually, don't mind a little bit because I need to put flaps in. And we should have enough in that panel. So, kind of see how this is a Frankenstein. It has like a bunch of my different panels in there, which is just to save some time. All right, but thank you to Basilicious for the wonderful uh, six pack again. All right, so that is all in nice. Okay, let's get going here on these panels. Uh, can I do another seat right behind this? Probably copy. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. All right. And so I'll do a combiner at some point, but that person's just a passenger for the moment. Um, all right. Panels here. Let's get in here and let's start. Uh, let's start uh, doing the panels first here. So what do I want? Master power, flip switch, okay, uh, one, avionics, button, toggle, two, 
Okay, so those get clicked, and then you want to go... I'm trying to think what should be next here. Let me look at this setup here. I'm trying to think of the best way to set this up. I think I'm going to do this instead. I think I'm going to put them down here. I don't, generally don't like to put them down here, but... I think I will. All right, so let's see. Master power, flip switch, one, avionics. Um, do button just so that you don't accidentally, uh, we'll do it as a flip switch too. Flip switch two, avionics. Let's do avionics as a button because this is going to be magnetos. Actually, I won't do that. Now let's do engine start slash stop. I know I'm going to be ultra annoying here. Make that back to a flip switch. But you kind of, there's some human factors reasons to this is like you want buttons to look different so you don't actually turn them on and off when you shouldn't be doing it. Start slash stop. I'm trying to make this a little bit easier for people. A bunch of people in the community and some of the people that I'm making this for are going to have issues with uh, just wanting to push every button to get something to work. Uh, engine start stop. Okay, so you do mass power, avionics, engine start stop. And then generator, I'm thinking. Um, let's not fill that in yet. What do I want there? Let's go volts, volts, dial, negative one, positive one's fine, four. All right, volts is there. Then I want um, RPS, M, dial. Uh, what are we running up to? 20 at most. So let's say 20 times 60, so what, 1,200? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, 1,200. So we'll go 1,200 max. Should stop short of that. So it's at five six six engine temp C dial uh, zero to one twenty seven. Right. This should be battery battery. If I can look at it, I can see it. I read battery. Percentage. Give me a gauge. Vertical, 0 to 100. That should be 7. What is this? Did I make that the right one? That should be 6. That should be 5. Why do I not know how to label anything at this point? 4,000 hours in the game. 7. This should be... Uh, fuel in gallons. Generally, small airplanes like this, you do it in gallons. Be pounds in bigger airplanes because pounds matter more in a bigger airplane. Small airplanes, you just convert it. You don't really need it. That'd be a gauge. Vertical. Actually, you know what? Battery should be sideways. This is all human factor stuff by doing one horizontal and one vertical. Like the last thing you want is to see 100% battery and think you have 100% fuel. Because you could be at 100% battery and you could be at 10% fuel and be like, look quickly and be like, 
oh yeah, I'm good on fuel and crash because you run out of fuel. By putting the battery sideways, you know the sideways gauge is not my fuel. You look at 100 here, you say, oh, okay, that's not my fuel. You look to the right, you say, oh crap, I only have 10%, I need to land. And that's why you do things like that, human factors wise, is that's why certain things are flip switches, certain things are buttons. You have round gauges, you have um, you know, vertical gauges, sideways gauges, dials. It's it's all so you don't confuse one for the other. All right, so let's see. Fuel and gallons, gauge, vertical. I don't know what that is, so I'll figure it out in a second, I think. I'll try 60 for now. All right, and then what do we want? So that's engine up and running and all that great stuff. Let's go some enunciators here. So um, let's see. Um, so we kind of want them where they belong. Let me see. Um, let's do instead here. Let's go back to here. Let's do four as uh, low bat. Low bat indicator. Are you out there, guy? Indicator. Uh, low bat indicator. So we have voltage battery indicator. This is your electrical section. So master power, um, avionics, engine start stop, which is probably put here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna annoy everybody with this now. Um, whatever, uh, things should be done a certain way, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna do it right the first time. Let's how about we do that? Uh, let's go ahead and do. Uh, I should just need to change this one. So let's do battery percentage. Uh, that's going to be a gauge. That's going to be. Uh, we can make this vertical now because it's not going to be where fuel is. And so, by separating things by space, that also makes it is good human factors. So, and then we have voltage next to that. And then here on three, we put our low. We put this essentially. Control C, low battery. And we put that as an indicator. All right, so that's going to flash low bat. This will be low fuel. So our enunciators are next to each other. Those are just flashing lights that tell us, hey, something's wrong. Or, hey, pay attention, you know. Um, so low fuel is going to go next to fuel. Fuel in gallons. That's going to be a gauge vertical. Uh, zero to 60 until I figure out what the hell it is. 60, that doesn't go there. That goes down here. Nope, it doesn't go there either. It goes here. Okay. Uh, zero to 60, vertical gauge. And that is what? Um, 11. All right, so now our fuel section comes here. This will be, four will be fuel flow. Flow, and that's gallons per hour. And that's, so I like to put in my units here. So uh, that's in gallons, that's in gallons per hour. How many gallons are we burning per hour? And so this should go zero to, I don't know. I have to figure it out. One, not 1120, 120, that's gonna be 12. And so this is our electrical section. So we go through here, we have our electrical. Battery, voltage, enunciator. Master power, avionics, battery. So that's all of our electricity. All this is electricity through here. Then we go into our engine. So this one is now going to be engine start slash stop. All right, this is going to be a button. That's going to be toggle five. Okay, then we have engine temp, uh, which is now going to be RPM, because that's more important. That's centralized. Things that are very important should be right in front of you where you can always see them. 1,200. Okay. This here is now going to be engine temp. Nope, temp. What? I guess I didn't cut it. Uh, temp degrees Celsius. 
that should be a make that a dial. It's okay to have those both as dials. One twenty. That is going to be nine. All right, so let's look at it really quick, and we'll start um, additive coloring this stuff too. All right, so I like doing green for everything here. Uh, the enunciators aren't going to be green. So low bat is a caution. Low fuel is definitely going to be a red. We, you know, low bat, not the end of the world. Low fuel, end of the world. Get, get your stuff together, man. Land. All right. This is going to be green to show us that our engine is up and running. Then we have, so we have RPS, which is most important. That's why I put it over here. That's why I took them off the sides. I really need to be able to see my RPS. Uh, that there is going to be temperature, fuel, fuel flow. What do I want for this? Um, let's see. I might just do one setting for landing flaps and call it a day. So let's go two is going to be uh, number 10. Uh, flaps PO slash landing. Now we'll make, make uh, takeoff landing flaps the same. Don't really like love to do that, but we'll do that. Down, toggle, 10, 11, this should be 11, and this should be 12, and we should be good. Okay, good. So those are good. Let's daisy them together. This stuff, it seems kind of monotonous, but it's it's important. If you lay your stuff out correctly, you don't accidentally shut things off. Everything works correctly. You don't have issues. So let's go. All right, so this should be composite, composite, input, output, panels. All right, and that's going to be in and out of panels. Let's start getting that running, and then some paint, and hopefully we'll finish it up here soon. So now they're over there, which is easier. So let's leave them over there. Let's This stuff doesn't need to be this far to the left. Let's move it to, like, there. Okay. All right, so we need some things here, and hopefully you remember them all. I also need a master power out. I need an avionics out. So that's the output. Master power, avionics. Okay. All right, good. So those are there. Let's get going here. So we want panels coming here. And a lot of this is going to be replaced for where the seat was. So let's go up top here. All right. Uh, master power is going to be read booleans here. So one is master power, two is avionics, and then that will just go right to these. Master power avionics. All right, uh, th three is going to be a right. Uh, four is going to be a right. Five is engine start stop. So what I should be able to do is grab this and where six is on the seat, make that five. And that should uh, get that all set up. So that should work now. So that is going to do our engine start. Uh, yep, that will do our engine starter there and get that going. What else will that do? That will... Get our alternator PID turned on. That will work. What is this? That's okay. That's fine where it is. Why is this like way the hell over here for no reason? It is very much for no reason. What is that? Engine. I don't know why this is way the hell over here for no reason. I don't know why. I put it over there. Okay, that's better. This can go all up there like so be less annoying and out of the way okay good so that's there all right so that's set up for the first three switches let's just update it and check so i don't screw things up 
Okay, so that's all of our switches. The rest, uh, no, nope, flaps right there. Okay, so I need flaps out on the panel. Uh, let's see what I want to do here. Do I need the seat to come through here at all? I don't, I don't believe I do. I don't believe I do. The seat should not need to come through here at all anymore. That's all right. So let's go add node. This is going to be a number output. Flaps. Okay. And then flaps, I need to get the numbers. What? 12, 11, 10. Should be 10. So here's flaps. All right. So if we read 10, so if 10 is on, I'm going to do an up down counter. This way it does incremental flaps. Okay, enable. So this is going to add it to the ailerons. So I need to have. This is going to be annoying doing flaps, flapper ons. Um, let's try not to do flapper ons. Let's try not to do flapper ons. These would be uh, flapper ons, ailerons, and flaps. Uh, that can be annoying. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's try something here. No, I can't do that with a single. Can't fit that there because, of course, I can't. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I have the space. I'll just do it. Right. Uh, do I have the space, though? All right. I'm not talking to myself, I know. Let me fit, get in here. And... Flapperons can be annoying, um, but let me see what I can do. The seat doesn't have to go in here anymore, so let's go. So those are opposite. That's fine. Okay, let's do this. Let's read in a number input, and that will be um, gyro pitch gyro pitch okay and then i need to read two out because of course i do gyro pitch yeah so i'd, I'd have to read out both anyway so that'd be output port uh, flapper on Star flapper on. Star flapper on. This is how quickly you can run out of space in your microcontroller. All right. That's that. Seat. I didn't need seat anymore. Seat was doing nothing to me anyway, so that's fine. What is four, though? Did I just screw myself here? Uh, I do need the seat. All right. Um, I do need the seat. All right. That's fine. So that's fixed now. I do need seat to read the throttle. So my throttle is, is commanded through this, so I do need that. And what are you? You are read 30 brakes. Okay, so throttle and brakes, I need that. So I do need that. So that's all right to go through here. That's fine and not the end of the world. What I can do now is for flaps. I can just put it through a second controller. Uh, it's going to probably be the easiest thing to do. Yep, I'll put it through a second controller, so that's fine. Let's go back in here. That's fine. Okay. Actually, do I even need to? Try to think. Try to think of the best way to do this here. 
All right, let's do this. So we have the seat coming in. Seat does WS. Let's go. Yep, so it's going to have to go out to a second controller anyway. So let's go number output. Let's go uh, pitch to pitch to, oh, great. Let's not do that. Let's go. Okay, let, let's keep that like that. Let's start doing all of our writes. All right, so let's start looking at all our writes. So we have, I'm going to, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a quick screenshot. Uh, and then I have that so I can stay in the microcontroller longer without having to check it. All right, so I'm just going to open up the screenshot. All right, so I have this opened up uh, so I can see it. All right, and so let's start doing our writes, and then I, I know how I want to set that up now. So first write is going to be battery. So where's my battery coming in? So right here, it comes in battery here for the alternator. I'm going to go into a function because I'm doing percentage. Uh, X times 100, that's going to give me my... Battery as a percentage is instead of a uh, whole number. All right, so that's going to be, so what do I need? I need uh, 3 through 12, essentially. So we're going to write, where's write number, 3 through 12, start channel 3, channel count uh, 9, 12. So... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So that's three is battery. All right, and then uh, I need a function for this. So uh, uh, I need uh, delta. All right, so this is going to be battery times delta. So can I do delta in a function? I don't think I can do delta in a function. That would be convenient, but I don't think I can. No, can't do delta in there. It would be nice if I could. I'd probably do it in Lua, but I'm not going to bother. And then I just do x times 3600, get the number up bigger so it actually moves the way it would. Okay, so those two are good. And that goes to here. All right, that's my voltmeter. All right, then I need to go to, what's that, four, five, six. Six is going to be my RPM, so I need a function. X times 60. So RPS is where RPS should be right here. Times 60. And this is going to move up, and these are going to all move up. And that will go up like so to keep my lines nice. Okay, good. I don't think I put this in the right spot. Uh, let's see. Four, five, six. That should be six. Three, four, five, six right here. Okay. That goes like that. All right, good. And then we have enunciators, which are uh, right on offs. So if the battery, low volts, or low bat, low bat is if this is less than, let's say, let's say if the battery is less than 0.5, where you at battery? The battery is less than 0.5, we get a low bat. So I have two enunciators. I have uh, seven and eight. So start channel 7, 2, okay, so there's 7. So that's if I have low battery, it's going to, flash at me. Okay, low fuel, uh, I need to bring that into the panel here, so bingo. Uh, it's number input, fuel. Okay, so low fuel's coming in. So let me quickly update this. And then, let's 
see where we're at here. I hope I updated that. Where you at there, guy? Fuel. Okay, good, I did. I was going to say, it would be upsetting if I didn't. Okay. Fuel's in there. I don't know what the low value is going to be yet, but if it's less than something... So this can all move up again. This is all needs to go up, 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 up. Oh, God damn it. I just highlighted you all, and then I must have clicked something and dragged it all down. Very frustrating, very annoying. Okay. All right. So let's see. Fuel. And then this can go up there for now. Fuel is going to be... This can go down and over. This can go down like that. Fine. Okay, fuel. And then if it's less than a certain number, which I have to determine, but it's going to be like that. If it's less than that, it will trigger this. Fuel is less than a number. It will trigger that. Okay, good. And I want to blink as well. Okay, that's good. Do this before I forget and then have issues. Okay. All right, then the next one is going to be temperature. Temperature is going to be 9. 9 is temp. All right, so where are you at there? Temp. Temp is right here. So temp is going to be 9. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Temperature Celsius, like so. Good, good, and nice. All right, good, good, and nice. And then the next thing is going to be a skip. So it's going to be 11 is going to be fuel. So we have 9, 10, 11 is now fuel, but that's going to be a function. I'm changing it to gallons. So let's see, what is it? Gal to liter is... All right, that is, I don't know why you're so annoying here, game. So it's, uh, let's see. So it's going to be x divided by 3.785. And that goes into 11. All right, so that gives me fuel in gallons. All right, the last one is fuel flow. I'm not ready to do that yet. I'm not going to look up the math for that. I don't really care at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and check this really quick. Hook up all the composites. All right, so panels are good to go. That goes in there. That goes out to the panels. What are you? Seat data, your spec seat. I don't care about you right now. All right, good. So that goes in. That's all set. All right, let's check some stuff here. Uh, electricity. Let's get all that just... Let's get a relay. Let's not put it off. Let's do it now. Let us not put it off. Let us do it now. All right. So let's get all the electricity where it's going. So control surfaces, that's fine. If that's hooked up with control surfaces, that can go away. All right, where's my battery now? Battery's here. Let's start disconnecting some of the stuff here. Come on, dude. Disconnect. There we go. Alternators. Alternators will go straight to the battery. Battery will go to this side. Make sure my panels are all connected. Panels will go to here. Um, control surface will go there. This will go to the connected side. Gyro will go to this connected side. Uh, gearbox is not switching, so it doesn't need that. This will go to that side. That is our power. Okay, good. So let's go. Uh, master power connects the relay. Avionics does all of our screens and backlights. Nice. All right, anything else I need to do here? 
That's a hotkey of the pilot seat. I think that's pretty well set up here. All right, let's hope that's connected. Let's go spawn it and check. I still need to work on the flap, uh, the flapper on controller, but that will be easy and quick. All right, so mash power, avionics. That's not working. Okay, engine start stop needs to be fixed. That I haven't worked on. Let's check. Battery is good. Volts is fine. Low bat. Low fuel. RPM. Temp. Fuel in gallons is 47. Okay. So we can do a couple things while we're here. So this will be 50. This will be if fuel is less than... Um, what's that? What the hell is this? Okay, fuel is less than 10. Get a flashing warning light to land. Essentially, is what that's telling us is, hey, land, you're getting low on fuel. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, what do I need? Uh, flapper on controller. Let's do the flapper on controller. Okay. So that's where it gets annoying. Um, the Not really all that annoying, but let's see. Let's hook up this other seat into here. We have a sp we have space in the microcontroller. So let's go. Uh, front. Okay, this works. So let's go seat rear. Rear uh, panels slash seats. Okay, that does that. Okay, good. All right, and we have, what's this? Seat rear, which should be a input. All right, so these are going to go together. All right, so this here, you can go out. You can go, like, here. All right, so this is going to allow either seat to control these things. Pretty simple. Just need an or. And then if it's not that or it does that, that hooks up. So seats are going to control both brakes now. That's honky dory. Uh, these thresholds here. And now I'm going to do that. That. Grab some ores. What the hell did I just do? How did that work? I just copied it. Okay, negative one, negative one. All right, so now that also controls both throttles on the back seat. All right, and then what do I need? I need to report out. Okay, that's going to be reported out with composite. So I need to read my WS off of my seats. So let's do that as well. So what's WS? WS is 2. Let's delete that one. 2. All right, and then these, we'll just add them. It makes it easier. Okay. 
And we'll add uh, the pitch of these two together. Uh, it's it's reset anyway, and then that needs to be reported out to here somewhere. And what channel's free? What shrunk it? I hate it when it does that. Did it shrink it? It did. Dude, I hate... So they did this where it auto-reduces now. I loathe that. Uh, so I really hate that they did this. This is stupid that they did that. It really is, is absolutely obnoxious that they did this. So they made it so that it got rid of my empty slots, which I need. And so I really don't like that they did that. So three, we need ten slots here. I need to re-plug all these because of something the devs did that's silly. Three. Four. I need to put a fake number in there to keep it from doing this too. So, okay, three and four. Five is a button, so this can be five. Five is going to be... Five is going to be the added seats. Ugh. And then these are going to be, that's fine, those reduce, um, so five, six, nope, I screwed this up already, six, this is going to be six, so three, four, five, that's six, six is where, oh, I screwed up again, what is this? You know what I'm going to do? Do this. I'm just going to do this because I don't want to screw this up. Um, okay. So three is going to be battery, uh, battery voltage. Skip five. Six is going to be RPM. Six is RPM. So three, four, five, six is RPM. Enunciator, enunciator. And then we go to temperature, which is now this degree Celsius. Okay, skip this one for flaps. Then we go to fuel, which is that. Fuel flow, I need to put in a fake number, which is going to be here. So I'm just going to put in constant number of 1 or 0. We'll just do 0 for now. Fuel flow of 0. And that's the way I can fix it. So I hate that the devs did that. That just makes, like, I just had to redo that because of something they did. Maybe a quicker way to fix it, but I'm not aware of it at the moment. So I'm having to do this, which is just frustrating me. It's not the end of the world, but it is a pain that they did that. All right, so that's set up now. All right, that's set up now. Hopefully this works the way I want it to. Okay, so uh, what we're doing is we're, we're reporting the pitch out on channel... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Channel thirteen, we're reporting pitch. And now I'm gonna make a flapper on controller. I just wish they left it alone, but they didn't. Um go make a flapper on controller. Flapper ons, okay. So let's go, we need a composite input from, I'm trying to think, we need, to, we need to spit it out to the, this needs to spit out to the gyro, to gyro, then he's come back. That's going to be a, uh, let's see, number input from pitch gyro. Okay, that's an input pitch gyro, and then That's going to be a uh, number output port flapper on, number output starboard flapper on. Okay. 
Let's get this built. All right, so we need to read the number 13. 13 right here. All right. And then so this goes right to the pitch gyro. Okay, that's going to read out to the pitch gyro. All right, that reads out to the pitch gyro. Pitch gyro comes back in. All right, and it's going to read it's going to go to port starboard flapper on like that. That's fine. Then we need to add the flap in here. We need to add the flap in here. So this is adding flap to our ailerons. All right. And now I need to go back and let's hook all this up before I screw it up. Uh, so that's out to panel seats. That goes there. Let's go. Uh, we need to go to pitch gyro. Where's pitch on the gyro? Pitch on the gyro, and then the gyro pitch is going to... Why am I doing pitch? Oh, my God. It doesn't It shouldn't be pitch, dude. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. All right, so I think I'm going to approach this a little bit differently. Part of it was I didn't think I was going to add the second seat yet. Um, do I want to add the second seat so you can fly? Uh, yeah, I do. So let's do this. Let's. Okay. Let me look at this microcontroller, see if I can do it. Seat rear fuel panels. All right, so I might be able to do this if I do a seat combiner. All right, so this is what I'm going to do here. Okay, let's do this. Let's do a simple seat combiner. Uh, let's do front. Rear. Combined. All right. Front, rear, and combined. I don't know how I highlight the whole stack, and it doesn't take the whole stack with it. it didn't. <laughs> All right, so we have front rear combined, and then I need to split it all up and repackage it. So real simple. Let's go. I do I I don't have a parking brake on this either. I need to add that, which I can do with a toggle. That's pretty. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to do parking brake. I'll figure that out later. Uh, I'll add a button for it, but uh, let's go ahead and do. Now we'll read the numbers. All right, so two, three, four. Those are all the axes of the seat. All right, there's the axes of the rear seat. And then let's go, we'll do a bunch of ads. So just adding these together so you can control from either seat. Okay. Let's go. One is roll. And then we have one is roll on the rear seat. Two is pitch. Two is pitch. Three is yaw. And yeah, four is going to be throttle. All 
All right, and that should all be fine. All right, and then I need to, to package them. So I still have some more I need to do. Let's do that. Let's do Booleans. All right, put to the two booleans. All right, that's that. Then I need to write the numbers. All right. All right, and then I have the Boolean. Thirty-one. All right, so hopefully that combines these nicely and not a pain. All right, let's hook these all up. Here's a better way to do it. Just gonna make life a lot easier. All right, let's configure this panel up first so it accepts it properly. And then, so instead of seat front, we'll do seats. Okay. And then a lot of this or can go. So seat rear all together can, that could go, that can go. I probably regret doing that, but it's not a big deal. Let's go read number four. And then what's that? Brakes. Brakes would be seat. Thirty-one. That should be a boolean, not a number. Give me this, please. Thank you. All right, so that's hooked up now. Better. All right, so that's that. Seat rear can go. That frees up a space. Panels, panel seats. All right, so that is that. All right. And then let's see what I need to do here to try to make this flap around panel work now. All right, so we have a seat combiner comes through here. And then that is Laprons input is going to go there. Okay. So let's see what I oh, come on, get out of there. Let's see what I can do with this. So this needs to be seats. Let's do this. Do that. Uh, roll. Pitch. Yaw. 
All right, good. Roll pitch yaw. Roll pitch yaw. All right, update that. So roll's going to go to the gyro here. No, it isn't. That one still needs to be processed, so that's going to go into there. Pitch is going to go into pitch. Yaw is going to go into yaw. Does that roll? Roll needs to be processed, so roll is going to go into the roll gyro. The roll gyro is now going to come out to the flapper on panel and now alongside something else. We can do this. So that's input reads. Now let's get just get rid of all this until I figure out what I need to put it back in here. All right, so we're reading in. Um, Panels, so that's panels. So this is gonna read in the panels. And we need to read in the flap controller, which is, we need to read in the flap controller, which is what? Um, 10, 10, 10 is the flap controller. All right, so that's that. Need gyro roll. It's going to be a better way to do it, most certainly. Give me the thing. Okay. Gyro roll. Anyway, do some ads. All right, so gyro roll is going to add there and there. And then this one here is going to go... I have double ads now, don't I? Um... Port flapper on star flapper on. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna need to figure out which one needs to go backwards in a second here, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of you over here for now. Up, down, counter. Uh, zero to, let's see, what, point two five? Nope. Try that for now. This should be a Boolean, not a number. No, they're not. All right, so that will control the flaps. And then what I need is I need to add it to one, and I need to negative x to the negative exit to the other, and then that's yet to be determined. So I'm just going to pick one. We'll pick port and say, all right. So that's definitely 10, isn't it? 4, 8, 9, 10, 10. Copy. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll hook this up to gyro roll. Where are you at there, guy? Find it. Gyro stabilized roll. Stabilized rolls right here. Good. All right. Starboard flapper on. Port flapper on. Composite reads off of why you read off of this one. Combined shouldn't be read off the combined. This should be read off of whatever's going to panels. Panels. Combined should be going to seats. All right. Let's hopefully I can get this up and running. I need to make sure I put that Boolean out. That's seven and eight. 
Let's make another one uh, here. Start channel on this is 10, 1, send that there. And then that'll be on the input of panels. Where is the input of panels? There we go. Okay, uh, it still needs to go down. There we go. All right, that's the input of panels. That will read through, hopefully. All right, let's test this out. This has been kind of a struggle to get there. And I doubt the struggles are over, but... All right, so we have... Let's make sure that everything works right. So master power, avionics. Let's do a control check. Pitch. Roll. Roll is correct. Yaw is correct. Okay, now let's add in some flap. All right, so see it's going the wrong direction. Okay, so that's easy peasy, fixy reasy. I should name these. Seat combiner. This one is flapperons. Okay. And so the only difference with this is this inverted number here is going here. And this non-inverted number is going there. All right, that should fix that. Get us up and running here. All right, let's check it. And that doesn't guarantee us this isn't going to fly like crap now that we have flapperons on there, but we'll see. Okay, so still work correctly. All right, now let's add flapperons. They both go down. Nice. Okay, good. So let's try to take off with that in the down position. All right, that doesn't work. Get must fix. What is that? Five. Five is the starter there. See what's up now. So where's my starter is here. That's five. So let's check on electricity because that is also a culprit, potential culprit. Starter electricity right here. That's going to go to there. That would be it. Actually, you know what? Let's not plug there. Let's go right into this pump. All right. So let's see if we can start it up, fly it. Hopefully it flies well. Flapperons are going down. Tap the brakes. Brakes work. All right, good. So you're not going to have a duplicated panel in the back. I might do a simple side panel or something. All right, we're up. Go ahead, put our flaps up. We're still flying well, still have good speed and everything else. So I have to index that gauge, but uh, it's working well. All right, so let's do a flying lap, and then we will uh, blind start, and then we will go ahead, do a quick lap. Come in for landing, see how I like the flap setting. I'm kind of lost. There we are. Okay. Windshield's not in the best position, like the bezel's right in my face, but um, i fix that, get a little more viz. All right, outside the red. Back it hard in, We're inside the green, rolling out, looking for red. I always miss this red. Where the hell is it? There it is. It's always to the right. Okay, I screwed that up. That was me. All right, let's bring this back. What's my glass look like here? How short is my glass? So can I go up a glass and not really screw everything up? Probably can. Yeah, the glass is just kind of a pain right now. It's, uh, what did I just do? Did I just do something I didn't mean to? I put a hole in my wing. So let's go. What did I have there, I think? Must have been twos, yeah. Oh, yeah, three by three there. Uh, 
Uh, it's going to hit. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Um, all right. Go away. Here we go. In the right glass, please. Thank you. This is where I'm going to be funky if I do that. It is. Okay, crap on a stick. Okay, good. All right. Let me increase the flappage a little, see if that helps me any. That gives me more flaps. Trying to get that uh, the stall speed down a little bit. Flaps go down a bit more now. Much better viz now. There we go. Yep, flaps are better now. Probably even use a little bit more flap. Keep it tight on this one. All right, look for the red. I'm already seeing the red, so kind of important to look at that red early. So I've got the next next red one in sight. And the, there's no height restriction. We can go as high as we want. We just have to stay either inside or outside the uh, pylons. That helps with bleeding off speed. You need to bleed off some speed. You can climb a little bit. Inside the green. Keep cracking it. Now put the nose down. Nice. I'm looking for the red already. There we go. We're inside the green, just barely. This is a big crack here. Crack, 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 and start to roll out. Crack back. Get ready for this one. So cutting this one a little wide. Dive a little bit too. Crack, 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 crack. Roll. Still keep the turn coming just a hair. Pylon. Yeah, I'll crack. Crack, 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 And nice. So this is working really well. Let's do a landing with the new flaps. I'm going to... I'll extend out and do a quick split as to land. All right, so let's get... Uh, I'm not going to set up until I uh, do a course reversal here. Do a quick course reversal here in a second. All right, here we go. Course reversal coming up. And we'll roll this direction because that's the way I let the runway go. Flaps coming down. Speed. Watch your speed. Okay, so with the flaps, I can get a little bit slower now. 
Trying to just play with it, see where I can get on speed. So there's 87. We're still really good there. Let's get a little slower. So still flying well at like 80. But eight, less than 80 is uh, stalled territory, so as long as we go to 80, we should be good. So that's really good. So this is functioning well. I might set up a canopy system. All right, good. So let's work on the canopy and see where we can get, where we can get there. All right, nice. So these are all set. All right, so flap runs are working well. They're not being too obnoxious uh, with how they're behaving. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you wallow and you're like, you don't really, um, you'll lose some controllability. This is still nice and controllable. All right, good. Battery should go back in here at some point. Um, Is there a center pot? I'll put it in the center, right under the seat, because I can put it in the center, which is going to be a little bit better for weight and balance. I don't want this to be heavier on one side than the other. Looks like, I, don't, I think it's centralized. We'll stick it right in here. What is this? Why is this here? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just the fuel tank. I just didn't add this on there. Bingo. Okay. Battery can go right in like that. That's obnoxious when it does that. It really is. That's ah, just super annoying, this battery. Because I can't put those two phase together, so it's like, whatever. I don't think it's going to be a, a big deal if I turn it sideways. I think it's going to be fine. My God, come on, man. Paste it. Not working as fast as I'd like it, so over, I click too slowly or too fast. <laughs> All right, so I might move this speed indicator onto the tail. Kind of want a beacon back there, though. Because <laughs> I was thinking of adding a canopy on the back, but... I kind of like it open, you know? Open's kind of cool. All right, let's quick throw a quick coat of paint on this. I'm going to just look up some race planes and see what they look like for paint. Just kind of looking, seeing what we got. Kind of want to somewhat reasonably basic. I don't want an overly complex paint scheme. Probably some racing stripes on there to make it look fast. Yeah. And then I can always change out the color schemes for the different um, the different liveries. Okay. Just kind of a little paint on there, get it going.
right, and then I'm going to fight the urge to the bucket and speed things up because it's going to cause me problems. I know it will. The bucket always screws up and cause me more problems, and I just know better than to use it. Nope, don't want that. Let's do that blue that I've been using. Brown seats. Might do uh, brown interior like that. And then do like a... Oh, don't do that. Um, nope. That's more like it, I think. And let's see, go. And this should be easy to change out tail colors and everything. Or change out the colors for other colors there. And try to see what I want to do for the tail. Probably do bucket here and not have problems. Famous last words. Nice. So that, uh, that's looking pretty good right now. That adds a little bit of color on there. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, nice. Then add some color there. Let's do the pat yellow in here for piping. It's going to be the branded engine anyway. And I'm going to try color swap and see if it's an enormous mistake to do or not. Could be. All right, let's go color swap that. Let's go black, black. So if I need to, I can switch it back. Oop, I forgot that was all white colored in there. That actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. But I don't want it to, I don't want to color it that way. So let's go. Let's go ultra black in here. This way I can easily color swap these out so we can have different race liveries. And when you look in here, it should be um, Yeah, 
here. You shouldn't be able to see white when you look in the engine cowl in. It should be dark. All righty. So this is all the way to zero black. So the other black is not that same um, color scheme. So I can uh, change the exterior livery here uh, with color swap. So for example, if I wanted to do regular black, I could do that. And now it doesn't interfere with the engine. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save that as race plane working. Let's just do complete for now. Give it a look. See how it looks. That looks uh, the business. So this is a pretty good race plane. Let me just quickly jump in this seat, make sure I can do the controls. Okay. Oh, okay, power's not on. Let's turn power on. So, you know, I don't have the controls that I have in the front, but I can still kind of come in and land. So let's do a takeoff and landing from the back seat. Okay. Brakes. Okay, brakes are not working in the back. Okay. The steering wheel is not working. Throttle is working. There we go. So I can't really control the uh, flaps, but definitely fly it from the back. Come in from a come in for a landing. Don't have any sp speed gauges. I might put a couple of gauges in the back here. This is just for the for the uh, you know instructor in case you need some or you want to take somebody for a run. Like see, I could I could show somebody the course from the back and just tell them like, hey, put the flaps up. Oh, whoa, crash stalled. That was an Excel, that was a um, banked too much installed. So, but nice. Okay, good. So that works. Except for, I think, I know what's the issue is here. Let me fix it. Okay, so where is, let me check the combiner. And so this is being controlled by the front seat, which it shouldn't be. So the combiner here is, make sure that's going to yaw. Yaw goes to the combiner. Yep. And then I need the yaw out. There is stabilized yaw, which goes to the top, but it didn't go here. So that fixes that. Take a little turn here, take off on the taxiway. There we go, flaps coming up. Take a quick little screenshot here of the course. So nice. So this course is set up. Um, I think it works well. I think, you know, dynamically how 
The airplane needs to fly. I think it's going to work well. You know, I can easily change these liveries out with just doing color swaps. And that will be good for being able to put some different liveries on here. I wish the glass was like a half a block smaller, but whatever. Can't be, uh, can't be insane with it, but it flies like a real airplane does too. So, all right, excellent. So I think that's uh, probably it for this. You know, uh, this plane is up and running. It's working well. This is going to work as a good race plane. You know, it's been tested quite a bit. So I would say issues are going to be chalked up to operator error, here, <laughs> which is kind of a good stage for me to get to. Uh, but yeah, that's running. That's uh, working. And hopefully uh, get some people in here and play. So uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.